Hello, good afternoon. Today we are going to construct uh, a graph of linear equation. The general equation for a linear graph is given as y equals to mx plus c. This is the general equation for any linear graph. And linear graph, uh, in other words, means a straight line graph. This y here stands for a function of x, which is a dependent variable. M here stands for slope. I'll tell you what slope is, while C here stands for intercept. intercept. This f of x is the function of x function. Slope stands for the change in y divided by change in, change in x, while the intercept is the value is the value of y when x is equal to zero. So these are the interpretation of the linear equation, the general form of a linear equation. Suppose we have a graph of a linear equation in this form. Uh, this is y axis while this is x axis. Suppose we have a linear graph which means a straight line graph coming from these two points. This is what we call a slope. A slope. This is a slope. This place is a change in y, which means the range between this point to this point is the change in y. Y from this particular point to this particular point is called change in x. Here to here. So the change, change in y divided by change in x is what is termed as a slope. While while uh, the intercept is the value of y when x is equal to zero. So to to find that position on a graph is exactly where the straight line touches the y axis. This is y axis. All values here from origin are positive y all values from origin downward are all negative. So exactly where this straight line touches the y axis is termed as y intercept. So for this one, this is where we call y intercept. Intercept. So suppose we have let, let us solve a equation. Suppose we have 2y uh, minus 6 uh, uh, plus 3x equals to 0. And you are asked to plot a graph of this equation. The first thing to do is to transform it uh, into a slope and intercept form, which is y equals to mx plus c. We need to transform this particular equation into this form. How do we do that? This one is a constant term. So this is the only constant term we have here. So you have to take this constant term to the right hand side. I rearrange everything into this form. So let us, you are only going to uh, left y on the left hand side and take uh, x with the corresponding coefficient along with the constant term all to the right hand side. So we have 2y here equals to, now we're gonna take this constant term to this particular position and it becomes positive 6 and this one becomes negative 3x but if you look at the equation we only have y along on the left hand side so we're going to divide each term by 2 in order to eliminate the coefficient of y so you, we're going to divide each term by 2 by each term by 2 by each term by 2. So here we are left with y along and this is equal to 6 divided by 2 is 3 then this one remain negative uh, 
3 over 2x. Then to rearrange it into this form, we have something like this y to be equals to negative 3 over 2x, then plus 3. Y is this, m is negative 3 over 2, then this is x, and c is 3, which is the intercept. Now this is what you have, this is what you have, y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 3. Then change in y divided by change in x is nothing but negative 3 over 2, which is the slope. And, uh, and the intercept, intercept is 3. These are the two things you need in order to plot your graph. So our graph is going to be something like this. Something like this. This is y axis while this is x axis. So to interpret this into our graph, all you have to do is to plug the intercept first. And the intercept is 3. And intercept is the value of y. So along y axis, you locate 3 and uh, put your star there. So this is 0, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Along y axis. Then for the intercept, to interpret this on the graph, it means this number is negative 3. So you run, you run down 3 times and go to the right hand side 2 times. Down 3, then right 2 from the intercept. This is our intercept. Down to 1, 2, 3 to the origin. Then you go to the right hand side twice. 1, 2. Then you put your star there or any notation. We are done. Then you use your ruler to connect the two dots together to form a straight line graph. This is exactly how to plot a graph of a uh, linear equation. This straight line is uh, the graph of 2y minus 6 plus 3x equals to 0. Here we have another example which says we should construct a graph of this linear equation. 3y plus 3 equals to 6x. Remember, whenever you are given an equation in this form, to construct a graph, all you have to do is to transform the equation into slope and intercept form, which is y equals to mx plus c. This y is the function. This is uh, slope m, and this is uh, the intercept, which is the value of y when x is set to be equal to 0. So we need to transform this equation into this form, 3y plus 3 equals to 6x. We need to take this constant term to the right hand side. So we have 3y to be equal to 6x minus 3 because initially it was positive. Then we divide both sides by 3 since we only need y to be along at the left hand side. So we divide both sides by 3. By 3. So here we have only y and 6 divided by 3 is 2 x then minus 1. So here slope is, our slope is equals to 2 which is the coefficient of x and the c which is the intercept is negative 1 from here. But remember slope is always irrational so it is going to be 2 divided by 1 and 2 divided by 1 is the same thing as 2. So these are the two, two terms we need in order to float our graph. So our graph is going to look like this. This is y axis while this is x axis. Remember to always plot the intercept first which is the value of uh, y when x is equal to 0 and it is along y axis. So from the origin this is negative 1. This is negative 1. So this is our uh, intercept. While the slope is 2 divided by 1. This means you go up two times, then this one you go down, you go to the left, right, so you go to the, you go to the right, 
one time. So from here, we go off twice. One, two, then you go to the right one. This is one. This is one. So you need to use your ruler to connect these two dots together. These are the two dots you need to connect together. So this is a straight line graph of the form of the equation 3y plus 3 equals to 6x. So this is exactly how to float a graph of linear equation.